Good morning, hot dogs. Welcome to the Mori Announcements. Indiana Latino Institute, cap and gown, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Indiana Latino Institute is hosting an event December 14th. This is for all teens. This experience is willing to gain experience in health equity advocacy, civic engagement, leadership development, and mentorship. For more information on registering, check the link in the chatter. A good luck to DECA students as they take their DECA district competitive events test with today being the last test day. Also, this will be the last week DECA sells cookies before Christmas break. They will be closed for final exam week. DECA looks forward to serving all of you in 2022. Now, let's send it to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? Happy Wednesday. We're halfway done with the week. Today for sports, we have wrestling, basketball results, swim results, and more. The wrestling team will be in action tomorrow night here at home hosting Delphi. The meet will begin at 6. Make sure you come by as the dogs take on the Oracles. Next up, in girls basketball news, the Lady Dogs traveled to Faith Christian last night to take on the Eagles. The dogs fell to the Eagles 46-56. to The Lady Dogs will be back in action Friday, December 10th on the road to face the Tri-West Bruins. The Varsity Boys basketball team will also be on the road this Friday with the girls starting at 6 and the boys starting at 7.30. Make sure you come out and support the dogs as this game will be a varsity doubleheader. Make sure to stay tuned later this week for ticket information. Next up, the swim team traveled to Southmont last night to face the Mounties. The swim team fell to the Southmont Mounties despite a great effort and some amazing swims. Illness and injury prevented a full strength competition for both teams. First place finishers are Jacob Craig in the 200 freestyle with a personal best time of 225.46. Ethan Cook in diving with a personal best score of 207 points. The boys 400 freestyle relay consisting of Craig, Cook, Galishan, and Angelus. The swim team will be back in action tomorrow here at home facing the Western Bruins Stars. The meet will begin at 6. Last but not least, hot dog football players have been recognized for postseason awards. Britton Wood, Sam Michael, Ethan Cook, and Vlad Carreras Lantigua were all voted all conference team, with Britton and Sam were both voted to the first team all conference team. Britton finished his career with 211 tackles, 10 sacks, two interceptions, three fumbles, fumble recoveries, and one touchdown. Sam and his, ends his career as a four year starter. Sam compiled 2,134 passing yards. 912 rushing yards, 281 receiving yards, and accountable for 30 touchdowns on offense. Defensively, he had 65 total tackles, three interceptions, two cause fumbles, and one fumble recovery. Ethan and Vlad were both voted to the second team all-conference. Ethan in his, ends his career as a four-year starter with 286 total tackles, four fumble recoveries, and three sacks. Vlad followed up a junior All-State season in 2020 with another impressive year. He finished his career with 220 total tackles, 28 tackles for loss, 12 sacks, and one interception on defense. On offense, Vlad had 15 receptions for 174 yards and five touchdowns. Four players were also named for the big school JNC All-Area team, Sam Michael, Vlad Carreras Antigua, Kyle Zygman and Britton Wood were all voted on the All-Area team. Britton and Vlad were both two-time All-Area players. Sam was voted as an All-Area athlete because of his impressive versatility and dynamic playmaking ability. Vlad made the team for the second year as a defensive end. Kyle and Britton were both selected as linebackers for the team. That's all for Sports Dogs. Make sure you have a windsurfy Wednesday. Now let's send it to Dave. Thank you, Nelson. This morning, it wasn't as cold as it was yesterday, but it was still pretty chilly with the temperature being 23 degrees. There's going to be high winds all day, so even with the high being 38 degrees, it's going to feel like it is in the 20s. The low for today is going to be 22 degrees. 
A lot of people have been getting sick, so make sure to bundle up so you're not sick for the finals next week. You don't want to be coughing, wheezing, or having burgers coming out your nose while you're trying to circle C on your multiple choice questionnaire. You just don't want that happening. Well, anyways, that's, for, that's it for the weather. Now back to your host. Hey, seniors that are going to graduate, listen up. Make sure you order your capping gown for $41.73. The link will be in the chatter, so make sure you guys get your capping gowns. All seniors, be sure to turn in your senior quilt by December 17th. Don't forget because you'll be missing out on a hilarious opportunity. Wow, I'm going to be a senior senior. Now on to birthdays. A happy birthday goes out to Malia Flores Hernandez, Noemi Juarez, and Joshua Ramirez. Now for lunch. For lunch today in lines 1 and 2, we'll be having cheeseburgers. In lines 3 and 4, it'll be biscuits and gravy. That's all for the announcements, hot dogs. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell for more notifications. Happy National Brownie Day. Bake some when you get home. And don't forget to get your brownie points for Mrs. Horrell.